Welcome to Ask the Boss. As you can see, I've been joined by the one, the only, Ian Holloway. How are you, sir? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent stuff. Are you up for this? Yeah. Do you know how it works? Yeah, I wait for a half hour for you to turn up. Oh. <laughs> M6. Neil, it's nothing, to, that's excuses. So. Anyway, let's go on with it. All right. The first one comes from Rookery Mike. He's a Watford fan, I think. And he says, yeah. if managers entered the field of play to a song, what song would you choose? A song that sums up my life is I get knocked down, but I get up again. I love that song. Darren Bond, 86, says, what would you have done if you were the manager of City when Tevez refused to play? Uh, I would have done exactly what Roberto uh, Mancini did, which I think is a disgrace, uh, uh, insult to your teammates. Your job is just to be a footballer and you play whenever the manager tells you, not when you want to. So I would have bombed him completely out. I wouldn't have had him back at all. I don't think Alex Ferguson would have had someone treat his football club like that. Get out and stay out. This one's from Sean Hearn7. Ask Ian, what's the most bizarre thing a player has asked for as part of their signing on deal? Uh, well, normally at this club, it's money. <laughs> <laughs> and my, chair, my chairman treats it totally and utterly as quite bizarre. <laughs> they, they normally want a rise if you buy them, and particularly if you pay a bit of money for them, and they normally want their agents paying, so everything's quite bizarre. <laughs> what, you want some more money? What? Reese Roberts, 96, says you're the greatest character that graced the Premiership. Could you see yourself there again next season? I'd love to be there again. I don't know whether it's next season or the season after or the season after that. I'd love to be there again. I think it's the only challenge that that would um, fulfil my ambition, having been there once mm. and lost my best players and lost out by a point. Um, is horrible. Does it but, still rankle with you? Oh, yeah. Terrible. But such is life. You've got to get on with it, I'm afraid. And I'm very proud to have even had one chance at it. You know, some people don't ever get that chance and... You know, my team and my players and my fans and the club got me there, which was, it was just something else. The next one is from Smith, the G1, who says, if you could pick a football, come down with me. Do you watch that? Come down with me. Yeah, I do, yeah. Um, who would it be? Who would you invite and what would you cook? I'd ask Alex Ferguson, Arsene Wenger and um, Jose Mourinho. Yeah. I'd have all of them then and I'd probably cook... Um, Beans on toast, to be fair. I guarantee not burning that. Jose's bit of Worcester that. sauce. <laughs> bit of Worcester sauce. Yeah. Uh, maybe a slice of bacon on the side. Nice and crispy. Yeah. Um, bit of balsamic vinegar with that, maybe. Oh, yeah. And uh, then we just... I'd ask them how they all got on. Was it real? Was was there any mind games? Was it? You know what I mean? And, and then we'd talk a bit of tactics, to be fair. I'd probably ask Harry Redknapp as well. You know, I could add, ask, ask a few in there, couldn't I, really? But... Um, Harry's not going to have beans on toast, is he? He was. He, you can imagine him in a calf, couldn't you? Yeah. H. Should he take the England job? Is well, he the right man for the England job? I think he should be offered him. Yeah. And whether that's happened yet, I don't know. I can't understand what they're waiting for. If you were him, would you take it? If I was him, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I think he's ready for that. Whether they're scared of him or not, who knows? But they never gave it to... Uh, Cluffy years ago, because they were probably scared yeah. of what he would do and how he would do it. But you've got to give him... The chance to do it, I think. Maybe they'll maybe they'll go for Mourinho or some you know somebody right off the bat. Who knows? But um, who would you like? You're an England fan, aren't you? So who would you like to see get it? I would like Harry to get yeah. it myself. I'm worried about the tournament. You know, how many tournaments are there? And we've got a real good batch of young players. It's almost like they're going. Well, let's just you know this one. We don't have to worry about this. Let's think about the World Cup. You can't just no. Not being funny, you you got some brilliant players who who are coming to the end of their career, aren't they? You know, mm. I'd even bring Scolzi back in it because how good is Scolzi? Yeah, you can't buy what he's got. He's just brilliant, you know. And, and you just need someone who can gel all them together and, and get the the best out of them. And you know, the job that Harry's done at at, at um, Tottenham at the minute to go from second bottom yeah. to where he is is just oh, it's just embarrassing for me. But what do I know? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> 